quickly. They've fielded a very strong side when you stop and consider the number of players they've uh, either got out suspended, injured, or returning tonight from New Zealand. And there is the side with Bruce Walker in the second row and Steve Cray in the front row, just to mention two of the players. Coached by Alan Thompson, himself a former Sea Eagle, and Manly uh, reasonably confident that they can record a big win here at Lang Park tonight. Brisbane, well, their side, it, it, it's similar, I suppose, you could say, if you're looking at it from a commentator's point of view, as I do, and only see them once or twice uh, through the year. But there are some new faces, and we'll be talking to George Doniger about those new faces during the broadcast of the match. We'll take a break, and it's both sides. So another penalty, and again, it's been awarded to Brisbane, and Meninga finds touch just outside the 22-way line. Free kick being taken by Hoffman. The big man is McNamara in number 11. And play 20 metres out from the Manly line. Hoffman again. Big gap there, Keith. Yes, Ray Brown left the big gap. He went up very, very quickly, yeah. anticipating on Dave Brown. too quick. Yes, much yeah. too quick. Talking of Dave Brown, he's underneath there somewhere in number 13. Three Manly defenders, Paul Vorton, one of them. This is Saunders running through a gap, which closes only about three metres out from the line. Dummy half is Walsh. Des Morris away, Whoa. and he's going to score, Colin Scott. Manly have opened right up, and Brisbane have uh, snatched the first try from Colin Scott. De Mark Murray getting his uh, gear off on the sideline, and Saunders is leaving the field, Ray. That's bad luck, isn't it? Yes, after only nine minutes, that is bad luck. Chisholm looking for the touchline, but it's infield, and uh, the try scorer, Colin Scott. Oh, dear. That's a heavy tackle over there from Ross Windshuttle. And Davidson has made a complete mess of it, a dummy half. Well, that's a, a bad Miss Simon Booth is tackled by the 5'8 Welsh. Thompson. Well picked up. No, he Lost. hasn't picked it up, George. McNamara's got it for Brisbane. This is Meninga. And Davidson. Brisbane turn uh, the uh, defence into attack and Bly Davidson is up towards the 22 before Graham Eady makes the tackle. Foundation at the Royal North Shore Hospital. So you can phone the club or um, call at the club, I should say, for reservations. He's cutting him up, Keith. And this is Walsh, the 5'8", down to the halfway mark. Yes, it was a He's good break. He's giving Meredith a terrible time. Well, the, uh, the situation arose there where the mainly outside backs were so conscious of uh, possibly Meninga in particular and uh, Scott injecting himself in that they moved up too quickly. Yoni just threw a simple double dummy and found... Top team after a fairly slow start, Keith? Uh, well, he's a top player. Yeah. He gets through a tremendous amount of work and uh, Alan Thompson seems to have improved his attacking qualities as well and he's a very vital uh, unit Indeed. now in this yeah. uh, mainly pack. Good pass. Good work by Ian Thompson down to Martin Meredith. He's come to the fullback. Scott stands him up and goes. Oh, but Scott's picked him up. Nine metres out from the line. A quick play of the ball, and Brisbane are really at the moment in tatters after that great pass by Ian Thompson that came off a Brisbane player and regathered by Ray Brown. But no, it's back with Brisbane, and the referee is going to put a scrum down. Follow him across, and uh, uh, Scott has got plenty of pace, as he showed then. But the, uh, the winger, Davidson, was coming in as well. That's Rick Chisholm. Just two metres away from the line. Vorton, Meredith, Booth. Vital stage of this first Nick half, Ray. Only two minutes left. Mm. Uh, first quarter, sir. This is Meredith. Meredith oh, popping up to Mooney. Mooney looking for the corner and going in for what appears a fair try. It is. And Brisbane lead by five points to three and a very difficult attempt at conversion to be taken from near the touchline. Bad defensive level. Ray Brown, short ball to Bruce Walker, and that's a good tackle. Uh, he, he didn't maybe look as though he made an effective tackle, but Vic Whelan prevented any try. Chisholm, stepping and trying to do it himself. Maybe he's going a bit too much himself. It's taken by Brad Backer, Whoa. and Backer is very fast. Let me tell you, Go this is him. Taken by Mooney, 10 metres his own side of the halfway. Murray. Walsh, Quinn, Good. Meninga, well taken. Bly Davidson's on his outside. That's the only support he's got. He might not need any support. He's away and back on the inside and Davidson's put it down. Well, 
that was a great the rule book that he has <laughs> to do that no that's the point i'm making and it's sometimes very confusing to the, the spectator it's vorton now looking for oh gee that Des tackle Morris. looks a bit high no the referee has said uh, shoulder high thank you play on it looked a jolting tackle on uh, Vorton as Krillich gallops through an opening. He's down looking for Mooney. He might pick up Walker. No, he's not. He's tackled by Walsh. About nine metres out from the line, the referee has started the tackle count again. It's out to Chisholm. Now Gartner. Gartner spiralling 360 degrees and still going Gartner. Now he's held and pulled down by Brown. Chisholm calling for it. Meredith. Whoa. He's through. Scott. Is the last line of defence? I think the lad is in. Yes, he yes, is. It's a try to Martin Meredith. Yes, good try. Adjacent to the uprights. Vorton came out of that holding his left hand. Oh, the referee's got... <laughs> he's done a Hartley. <laughs> <laughs> I can say what I like. He's in New Zealand. Greg, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. This is Quinn now. Ten metres out. Hoffman. Morris has put it down again. Brown has got possession for Manley, but he knocked on surely. And the referee says play on. I would have sworn that Ray Brown knocked on himself. Walker. Touch yeah. of uh, juggling coming into the game. That's a good tackle. Morris was in it again with Dave Brown. Walker knows he's been stopped. He wouldn't have been too happy with those two handling errors, though, would he? No. no. Ian Thompson. Intercepted. Oh. Norm Carr. He'll score. Norm Carr pinching a try virtually. The big man, Ian Thompson. In New South Wales, what's the rule here? Do you know, George? Well, normally on a club game, um, incurs the wrath of the little men in white. There's no little men in white over this side. There's Whoop. the kick. It's there. Don't, don't panic, George. It's there. <laughs> and the score line is 10 points all. Manly and Brisbane from Lang Park. Yes, Ray, normally um, they... Um, aren't allowed to come inside the fence unless the player is seriously injured. But uh, well, it seems to be different rules. We've got a 10 points all situation and uh, I don't think uh, too many are going to worry about Big Henry getting a little bit, <laughs> a little bit uh, nervous. We've got a bloke sitting between us who's riding for dear life at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so it's uh, 10 all and Dave Brown for Brisbane, held by Cray and by Krillich. McNamara. Oh, gee, some of these uh, big Brisbane boys are taking some pulling down. Murray, Welsh, or Walsh, Quinn. Oh. Ball put to ground, picked up by Meninga. Meninga, still going. Oh. oh, I like the performance oh. from this boy. Oh, oh. He oh. Down. yes, he has. <laughs> it's a try coming up to Colin Scott. Oh, Mel Meninga with a brilliant <laughs> exhibition. Well, we've heard about the lad, but uh, I've got to say, we haven't seen it on uh, Tuesday. Two... Both of them are after as many as they can get. Dave Brown. Strong lad. He is a strong lad. He's only about two metres out from the line, as you can see. McNamara. Hoffman, Des Morris, gets the arms free, gets the pass back to Greg Quinn, and he's short by a metre. Pierce around the legs, Edie up the top. Hoffman, Murray, goes no! himself, he's in. Guilty. <laughs> he's taking it real personally, this bloke. And will be recorded for New Zealand telecast. And the Australian telecast will be the North Sydney St George match. Okay. So, uh, New, Z New Zealand viewers, you will be seeing your side, Auckland against South. Though, people here in Sydney will be watching the other match between the two first round winning sides, North Sydney and St George. So, Ray Brown will play the ball down in centre field on Brisbane's 22. Chisholm, Meredith, Walker. He seemed rather crotchety, Bruce Walker coming onto that. He got some attention um, onto his hand a while back, Ray. It looked like he dislocated a finger or something, which could uh, account for He's holding his hand now. Yes. 
certainly wasn't the right man to pick for the job because he came onto it very slowly. Now that, well, Merritt is going to oh. go in and score, but well, by gee, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to seem, seem super critical of the referee, but for the life of me, I thought Ian Thompson lost. Tom Mooney. Pierce. Good run. Darrell Pierce. Oh. A good run. He's out on his own though. Here comes Meredith looming up, but too late, and Morris puts him to ground on the halfway mark. Manly ball. Chisholm to Booth. Chisholm running oh. around. Wind shuttle. Oh. oh, he's given Chisholm a presentation try. But the little man couldn't take it. And referee readers. Putting the scrum down. Yes, well. Right. Bly Davidson to dummy half. There's Morris. 20 points to 13. Two minutes away from three-quarter time as Mark Murray kicks into the open space. And uh, Tom Mooney. Mm. Well, that, was that was a good tackle, wasn't it? Good tackle. Very good tackle. Penalty to oh. Whelan. Dave Brown. Lewis. Still oh, going, he's in. Yo. Wally Lewis scoring another Brisbane try. 25 points to 15. For Brisbane. <laughs> oh, look at DJ. Gibbs. Lewis has him. Brown. Edie. Oh. Edie with a big run. And still going, they're coming after Edie, who might make it, will he? Momentum, yes! yes. And by gee, I'll tell you what, his head must have been very close to that upright as he slid in for the try. Good try. But the big fullback crashed his way through and then set sail for the line, and who said he'd lost all his speed? He's, he's still got plenty there. The legs working like pistons, and it's from here that he says, catch me if you can, and I think he realised they were going to. Mal Meninga was the man who got a hand to him and then he, the big, the big frame of Graham Eady slid across for the try. Good pass from Ray Brown here, wasn't it? Yes, Eady, of course, there on the spot to back it up when Brown was taken by Greg Quinn. Uh, he got away from this tackle by Murray and, uh, and the other front rower. McNamara. McNamara, and away he went. Run, mm, very strong run. Pushed off Jay Hoffman into the bargain. Got around Scott. Yes. And now you see a head-on, full frontal, Graham Eady. Meninga dies. Just gets a touch through. Now watch Eady as he plunges in. I think his leg hits the upper. Uh, no, it's the Brisbane tackler. Oh, gee, he did have a heavy contact. Now Eady attempting conversion of the try. The Brisbane player was uh, Backer. Brad he Backer, like and he's injured. being assisted from the field. He did hit the upright very heavily, Brad Backer, but the final score line is Brisbane 27, Manly 20. Pleased to report that Backer is okay. So is Edie, as you can see, after both appearing to come in contact with the upright when that final five points were scored. But an entertaining Tooth Cup match, I feel, from Lang Park. And I certainly trust you've enjoyed it. The man of the match we'll have for you in just...